Six months later, uh, questions still surround that tragic night. And tomorrow in its weekly newsletter, Air Mail will have the latest piece in a series examining the Idaho murder case. And joining us now, co-editor of Air Mail, Alessandra Stanley. Uh, so tell Hello. us more about, you all will be looking into these murders. Uh, what did you find? Well, Howard Bloom, who wrote the story and has been on it ever since the murders happened, um, is explains that even things like bloodstains, we think, oh, well, that, that, that'll convict him, uh, explains how difficult it is to actually prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. And what he does, which is astonishing, is he, so many people, it's not just the policemen, it's not just the FBI, there were so many people that ha that had to be involved in this, and it includes a kayaker on the on the Snake River. It's a billionaire capitalist. It's a husband and wife team. It's a believe it or not a white supremacist. You know, it's for want of a nail. It's the opposite. All these people working in uh, separately but in conjunction uh, brought to, brought evidence that that I think at least the lawyers believe will be incontrovertible. So. But this is all explained in a wonderful way. So, uh, mm. you know, the, the murder is so tragic and so awful, uh, but there's at least some comfort in seeing how hard people are at working to, to, to solve it and put him away, and put the alleged killer away. Right, we will learn more in the upcoming hearing. Uh, let's turn to some of the other items in this week's airmail. What about Jackie Kennedy? But of course, before she was Jackie Kennedy, Jackie uh, was a Capitol Hill reporter. She wanted to be a Capitol Hill reporter. Tell us a little bit about what you guys have discovered in terms of what she did in terms of for a newspaper column, but also how she helped her future husband with his own research. She did his homework. Did his uh -huh. homework. Um, this was all news to me, even though I think I thought I'd read everything about Jackie Kennedy. But this is, uh, Carl Anthony has written a new book about Jackie before Jack. And I had not realized how seriously she had wanted to be a writer. So that, you know, she had this dinky little uh, insipid women's page column that she turned into something that was really read by everybody. But when she met the senator, um, she, the thing that I found extraordinary was that she wrote a 88-page thesis mm. on, you know, wither Vietnam using French sources, because the French, of course, still occupied that, into China, and that, that was just to help him prepare for one, his first speech in the Senate. So she was, uh, I, 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 she was much more, uh, how do you say, involved and intellectually curious than I had realized. Mm. Mm. And you, you, you also said that at the end of that report, she wrote a note <laughs> with a uh, a cheeky dare uh, to her future pro uh, f to her future husband and the future president. Yes, she basically dared him to say that uh, Vietnam should go to the communists, the, you know, the Chinese communists, um, because they at least really knew how to take care of a place, unlike the French, who at the time seemed very mm. bad. Uh, Colonial. Uh, yeah, yeah a, a, a bad mix to say the least. Now, it's interesting uh, on, on the front page of the New York Times today, uh, there is a story that talks about Turkey's ruinous mix of greed and corruption. This is a country that is still reeling, obviously, from a massive earthquake. Uh, and as the Times says, from greed and corruption, uh, Airmail takes us even deeper into the upcoming presidential election and talks about how the stakes have never been higher uh, in, in this election in Turkey. Talk about it. Well, this is actually a very personal uh, story by uh, a wonderful uh, uh, photo editor at Airmail, um, em uh, sorry, Emine uh, Sevim. She was there for the earthquake. Uh, she lives here, but her family's there. And uh, so this is her description of of what it's like to be Turkish now, whether you're in exile or there, and the sort of sense of horrible things keep happening. And it's not just an earthquake, it's a coup, it's, it's the way the government has clamped down on everything that you could possibly want to do, including what you read. And what's troubling is that there's no sense that this election, even if Erdogan loses, that that kind of difficulty will change and 
the other part is that there's another earthquake uh, expected in 2024. 2024. So it's just it's just a very personal, very heart, very touching look at a woman who loves her country but feels like she she can't even live there because it's 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 gotten so bad. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. Uh, the new issue of Airmail goes online tomorrow at 6 a.m. Eastern time. And for more on this week's stories, you can go to airmail.news/mj. Co-editor Alessandra Stanley, thank, thank you. you so much for being with thank us. You. Can't wait. Good to have you. To read it tomorrow morning, and you know.